What's up, what's up, what's up? This is your boy Lake Dawson on the Lake Dawson Morning Show here in New York City, ladies and gentlemen. And today, we're going to be talking about marketing yourself as a brand in real estate. Glad you came. Hey. So, marketing yourself as a brand in real estate. You all Here ready? Here we go. I'm ready. Let's get down to business. All right. First thing, marketing is key in order to increase your clientele and your sales and your rentals in real estate. Whether you're focusing on rentals or sales, it does not matter. Okay? They have a certain aspect of the year where they call it the slow season. There's another aspect. They call it the quick season. Who okay. doesn't matter? Because it's all about how many people you target, how many people how you meet. It takes for you to close a deal. It's all about you. And for the newbie agents, it's let all me tell right. you. It may take you a couple months to start seeing clientele come in, but l listen, you doing that is gonna is gonna uh, be worthwhile. Now you gotta focus on your numbers. Now focus on your numbers, and what I mean by that is this: you need to know. How many ads are required in order to see the amount of clientele that you want to have call you on a regular basis? When I first started out in real estate, it took me about three months until I seen my first client. Now, granted, granted, I did go out with individuals, I did study, so I did, I was in the market in terms of, of learning the process and how things, you know, how things worked, right? So and that being said, it may take you up to three months to get your first a couple of clients because you may need to have about five, three to 500 advertisements out there uh, in order to bring in those clients. Remember, it's a numbers game. How many times does it take for you to make a phone call to someone that you get your first, your first close? You get what I'm saying? So that's on all aspects of business as a whole. But obviously, as you know, this TV show, Lake Dawson TV, is about the newbie real estate agent and investor. Okay? Cool. You can still learn something too, but you already know where I'm focused. Uh, so let's go. So marketing is key to, uh, is key to this whole process, right? Uh, you need business cards. You need pens. You need applications. You need websites. Professional websites. All right? Professional. Okay? Now that's specific. Be professional. Suit, tie, things of that nature. Let me move on. You need brochures, business brochures. You have your brochure with yourself on it. The company that you work for, make sure you ask permission. Sometimes the companies have a marketing team. Most of the companies that I've worked for had a marketing team where you could pay them a certain amount or they'll take it out of your commission and they'll put together a brochure for you or whatever for the property that you plan on selling or marketing. All right? Uh... Create a podcast and attend as many events as you possibly can, right? It's all about a numbers game. That's, you know, it's, it's definitely all about, it, about the numbers game. The more people you reach, the more potential clients you have, okay? And that, that's, that's real important in business as, as a whole in general, okay? So whether you're a newbie agent, a newbie investor, it does not matter, okay? When you're building your group of the group of, uh, of the team that you're going to be working with, you have to go funnel through the people. Not every majority of the people are not going to want to work with you, especially if you are a new agent or a new investor. That's number one because they're looking for the most professional. They're looking for so you have to act as if this is the truth. You have to act as if you're already, you know, the the, the head man in charge. As if you're already the boss. As if you know everything about the market in the United States of America. That if an individual decides that they want to purchase a property in California, you know what to do. Okay? Not saying for you to focus, you know, in that aspect, but it's good for you to know. Okay? So, let's move on. Alright, begin with posting your property advertisements on sites that connects to others. So there is a funnel system. That if you if there's their websites which the company that you work for could definitely tell you, uh, you put your ad on a specific site, and then what that site will do is begin to post and connect all other sites. So it'll be a connection. Um, Realtor.com, different different company. I'll give you the list in a second. Uh, okay. Okay. So here's the example. You have Zillow. 
Truya.com. You have Truya.com. You have Olaw. You have StreetEasy.com. You have Facebook, Craigslist, uh, Foreclosure.com. Uh, what else? Guestofaguest.com. FSBO.com. Now, these different platforms that help you push your, push your product, push your sales, push your client growth as a whole, okay? Craigslist, you can find for sale by owners on Craigslist. That's number one. You can find people who are trying to rent their apartment out. That's number two. You can speak to them, talk about a deal, see if you can work something out with them. I found many, there were many times where I found clients on Craigslist who were trying to sell their studio or one bedroom apartment here in New York City. And I was able to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them when they were not interested in speaking to anyone. So there's ways in going about doing these things, okay? All right, so let's see. The other website you want to go to is agentimage.com. Agentimage.com. Uh, LinkedIn, WebsiteBox.com, AgentMarketing.com, and RealEstateWebsite360.com. Those are some of many, okay? But I like AgentImage.com because it's very professional and they have different aspects of marketing for you as a whole, okay? You make the choice, it's up to you, okay? So let's move on. See what else we got here. Okay, this is the other thing. Guestofaguest.com. Guestofaguest.com is, is an event website that you pay $14.99 a month for where you have the capability of attending events, galas, uh, things that are, are happening in the city. And they have it for New York, Miami, uh, Cal uh, California, Chicago, and one other place. Um, and the Hamptons, if I'm not mistaken. And you could submit an event or an open house or something to that effect where it'll bring people to come and view the property, okay? The other thing you wanna do is make sure you attend the broker open houses that your company gives you, okay? Those evening events or early afternoon events, you wanna mingle and market and talk to, you know, this way you get a feel with seasoned agents who actually know what they're doing and, uh, and move forward from there. All right, let's move on, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on. Um, increase your brand. That's number two. The brand, your brand is key. You are your brand, which means that even if you are quote unquote off work, you need to still look the part. Okay, that's the other thing. You never know. You may, as a matter of fact, yesterday I went out to have a steak dinner with a friend of mine on 32nd Street, and we end up meeting three or four people. Three or four people who were interested in doing business with us. So, and this was out of whim. We were just sitting next to a couple, and the next thing you know, they decided to start having a conversation with us. Okay, so, invest in new attire, suits for men and women. This goes for both, suits for men and women. You need to be professional, as professional as you could possibly be, okay? You are becoming a new you. You're breaking yourself down and restructuring yourself to the best real estate agent or investor or broker that you possibly can be. This is the new you, people. You, This is the new you, the new brand, ladies and gentlemen. This is the brand. This is the restructuring period. Haircuts. Make sure you get your haircuts, okay? Get yourself groomed, okay? Verbal communication skills. If you feel as though you speak uh, a slang or improper uh, English, it's, in, it's possible that you need to go and attend a class for ver verbal communication skills. And I say that because at least if you attend the verbal communication skills class, you have the capability of switching from slang to proper English. Slang to proper English. So uh, this way you become a chameleon no matter where you are in business, okay? You can relate to any, or any aspect of business as a whole, okay? All right, let's move on. Socks, shoes, etc. Make sure your socks matches your tie. Make sure your tie matches your suit. I mean, your your uh your handkerchief. Okay. This is what you need. Your shoes should be shiny. Should be clean. Should be uh, uh black or brown and 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 real real clean, not dusty. Okay. This is the thing. If you're on a budget. Okay, if you're on a budget, which some new agents are on a budget, then you could go to Burlington Co. Factory, right? You could get a suit for $100, $100, $150, some to, uh, or 
uh, go to Century 21 stores. They are actually the best one that I know of in New York City. If you're in New York, the best one that I know of is on is near Wall Street. Is the one that's down near Wall Street. Google Century 21 stores uh, near Wall Street, and that one is gonna come up because that's the only one there. When I say they have the best, they have the best. That one and the Century 21 on 66th Street, I think it is. It's either 66 or 72nd. It may be 72nd. But that one is another one that's 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 pretty good. Okay? So let's move on. Be prompt. You have to be prompt, right? When you um when you start uh, putting your advertisements in and you, you begin bringing in clientele and people begin, begin emailing you and calling you and all of that. You What you need to do then is create a system of uh, um, a system of client growth, which is create a schedule, basically, right? So create a schedule for yourself so that when clients email you or call you, um, you may reach back to them immediately. Okay, so this is the thing that I learned when I first began real estate. My first three months was focusing on creating the advertisements and going out to the atelier and going out to these other uh, properties and meeting new brokers and what have you, right? Once I began, um, excuse me, once I began getting new clientele, things began to switch over. My advertisements began going to the bottom of the list, which that's another thing that I should talk to you all about began going to the bottom of the list and then my client base started to increase. Now then my focus began, my focus became the clients and not the marketing. And then next thing I know, I would then get new clients sending emails and calls to me, but I wouldn't be able to reach out to them. And my, my the, the marketing tools that I had, those 500 marketing, those 500 ads are now at the bottom of the pile on the website, okay? Um, now they do have software now, if I'm not mistaken, that allow the uh, advertisements to be updated automatically. That way they'll automatically go to the top. But then question yourself, how many real estate agents actually have that? I'm, I'm almost certain the professional ones do. Okay? So this is an important message. Okay? Make sure if you have your cell phone and you out showing clients properties and what have you, Make sure you go to your advertisements and if there's just a button to hit, hit that button so that your advertisements will be consistent, okay? The other marketing tool that I'm gonna tell you about, and this is one that my, the company that I, that I own, Diamond Blush Group LLC, put together. It's called the 24-hour marketing tool. And this brought me the most clients that I had ever seen. And, these, and I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about pennies on a dollar, I'm talking about millions on a dollar, okay? So, the clientele that I received, most of them were from overseas at that point. Uh, from Canada or from South America, that kind of thing, right? So, what I did was I created a funnel system by using Fiverr.com, right? I had a marketing, a marketing company from India market my advertisements in India um, and these other places while I was in the bed sleep. And then when I woke up in the morning, I had another mar I had another uh, team of people marketing the advertisements here, as well as the advertisements that I already put up on the website. Now it's going to cost you a couple dollars to do that, but it's it, it's going to put you all at a higher level in terms of client base and put you on a higher position, uh, you know, a higher rank when it comes to the real estate agents and real estate agents in the city. Okay, especially if you're in big cities like California, Miami, um, excuse me, LA, Cal uh, Miami, New York. Okay. The last thing you wanted to, uh, to do is get a client's attention and then lose it. Okay, so there's been times, and I know a lot of agents have had that, where you get the client's attention, the client reach out, reaches out to you, and then your time is limited, and the next thing you know, uh, you check in your emails and boom, here's a, a client interested. By the time you reach back out to them, they've already gone with someone else or someone else in the company. Okay, that's one thing that you don't want to do. You don't want to lose money, okay? Uh, okay, going to the next. I always suggest you have an automated email response system with specific questions. 
automated email response system with specific questions to give you the opportunity to respond to the to the clients that reach out to you while you out showing properties. But this is what I don't want you to do. I don't want you to put a, a prompt email response system that says, hi friend, so and so and so and so, where they could tell that it's a computerized system. I want you to put it into where it sounds as if you're speaking directly to them and you're being honest. When you be as honest as you possibly can to your client, no matter who they are, that's the best way to go. There'll be a po more positive outcome on that, on that aspect, okay? So remember, when you're putting those paragraphs together, make sure you're doing it the right way, all right? Be personal. Okay, you don't know who these people are that you're working with, whether they're looking for a lower price property or a higher price property. And I say that because they could be testing you out to see if you're a good fit for the team that they, that they, that they have. Okay, be clear on this. The newbie real estate agents, trust me, this is key. You do this, this is going to put you on the top. All right, next. Uh, we do this because... Once your marketing pays off and you're on viewings, your time is limited and not in front of your phone or computer system to follow up with them. That's exactly what I was just talking about. Okay, which means um, this will give you the opportunity to uh, have a response system and then you have the capability of responding back. You could also have an assistant, pay an assistant monthly to do a service for you for a couple of hours in a day. This will give you the opportunity for a little more time and freedom. Just like if you don't have time, someone comes and cleans your house while you go out and work. Okay? Uh, three, treat every customer as if they're a million dollar client. Because you never know how far they will take you in your path to success. That's what I was just speaking about earlier uh, today. Okay? Make sure you treat these people as if they're million dollar listing agents. I mean million dollar listing clients. Okay? Just because they say, hey, I'm looking for a property that's $65,000, $100,000, $200,000, $300,000. Treat and you know your commission is not going to be that high. Then you still need to treat them with a certain level of respect. Okay? You should not go to them and say something to the effect of, oh, um, you know, real estate agents could do what they want to do. And because the commission is low, we they don't have to help you out. Because, first of all, that's arrogant. That's egotistical. And number three, um, number three, like I said before, they're probably trying to test you out to see how far you could go with them and their team. Okay, so that's a strike out automatically. So treat them like as if they're a million dollar client. Okay, it's very important. All right, so to recap, really quickly to recap, we went over marketing is the key. We went over which websites to look uh, to go to to begin the marketing process. If you need to go back and watch the video again, go back and watch the video again. Uh, at the bottom of the link, I'll go ahead and put some of the websites for you all. That way you guys could go to those websites and check them out. Um, increasing your brand, make sure make sure you always look the part, make sure you speak the part, make sure you know your market, make sure you know the numbers. That way when individuals ask you questions, you know how to answer those questions. It's as if you own the property that you're selling, okay? Do not play games. You're a representation of the owner of that property. Okay, be prompt, creating a, a funnel system that will allow you to increase your clientele while you're going out showing real estate as well. Get an assistant, have a prompt email setting, and what have you, okay? All right, so that's going to warm up the show for the day. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to go into more detail about marketing yourself as a real estate, uh, uh, real estate agent and a newbie um, investor here on the Lake Dawson TV show. I'll talk to y'all later and have a wonderful day.